Bro, looks like we're in Egypt right now. Look at this. We're in, we found sand dunes. What the fuck are you doing? Dude, it tastes awful. How? <laughs> Alright, what is going on guys? This is Alex or Face Zap here today. I'm back again with another video. Today's video is actually about to be crazy. Listen, I'm driving out to Death Valley. Listen, I am about to embark in a journey. Death Valley is about 230 miles away. 230 miles away, four hours. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be spending the night there. All right? I'm camping out, trying to make it 24 hours to the next day. And I thought, I was like, listen, if I'm going here, I need to bring a survival specialist. So, I got my boy here, Drew, come on. Is it cold there or hot? It's, it's going to be hot. It's actually the, uh, recorded the hottest place. You said in July 2018, the hottest place on earth Oh my god. Was Death Valley. 127 degrees. Oh, it's a lot of animal planet too. Perfect. See, yeah. that's the that's what we need. We need someone like that to just bring that that energy to the table. But it should be fun. And I've never camped or stayed really overnight in a place that wasn't like a couch or a bed. Never done anything like this. So it should be a fun experience. We're gonna have absolutely zero service and we're gonna see what happens. So you ready? Let's get it. Yeah, let's go. 105, you gon' drive me wild. LA don't look good on you, baby. Out on night, Uber X outside. LA don't look good on you, baby. Bro, look at, just look around. There is not like any type of anything anywhere around we're really deep out here no in the desert here, bro. no wi-fi either no cell service no bitches <laughs> why do you think is the ration here we're standing on it right here it's just, just right here open for everything I anything there's nothing in the, around us good look like bro we are oh he's really <laughs> Oh, wow. So this is like an official campground, right? Like people really come out here and just do this. So there's signs that say like campground limit. So like, look at all these camping nerds in here. Like they want, I don't want to, I, I, I want to isolate myself, dude. Like I said, I will, we could really turn this into Hunger Games real quick. If, Run it. It would get filthy for them. Run it. Do the tent like right here. <laughs> do the second tent like, like right here. Yeah, yeah, like right here. Yeah, I like this. I like this. All right, let's do it. Let's run it. <laughs> Heart wing comes. I'm gonna take this up. I mean, you're the survival expert. I think with, I mean, you guys if we take inertia into the equation and we're inside the tent, right? It's gonna weigh it down. Bro, by the way, Target said this was a six person tent. Look at the packaging. Six person tent, persona tienda. Like, dude, what are we account? Are we counting for six kindergartners? Six <laughs> kindergartners would not be able to comfortably fit in here. I have another tent, another tent to set up. Goo, how are we feeling so far? Hot. Hot. Yeah, it's very hot. You get you get dehydrated out here quick. This is actually 200 IQ. When you got to put the stakes in the ground, instead, no, no, don't use your foot. You don't want to mess up the Nikes. You gotta take this and just penetrate, impale the ground. Should we do it this? Dude, we could use it to defend ourselves <laughs> against grave danger. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Don't, don't play with me. I need help here. I got you. <laughs> camp's coming together pretty well right now. We're not completely done. I'm starving. We need to get our energy back, bro. We need to eat some food. We need to get some nutrition in our body. So I bought these meals. They're military meals. And like when you're in the military, you can't Postmates or Uber Eats. So this is what they do. It's saying grilled chicken. How is it grilled chicken yeah. inside of it? I don't know. Look at this is what we got. Grilled chicken pad ta ta. Thai. Pad thai. Thai? Thai. A thigh pad. You stupid. Spicy. Oh man. Listen, it's regardless. Wait, we, it's spicy? What it says. I don't like spicy. I don't like it either, bro, but I don't like anything about what we're doing here. How much water? Is there a dosage on here? Serving size? Add two cups, 16 ounces. The water has to be boiling. <laughs> bro, this is, I can't, bro, look at what this says. 
add two cups of boiling water. <laughs> Why did they brand this like you could just like, like? We have no choice. You you rather die or eat it? I rather eat it. Yeah. yeah so let's just boss up. Oh, the whole water bottle. Yeah. All right. Wait. Uh. Oh my God. All right. Survival, right? Survival. Hot water would be better. What the fuck are you doing? Dude, it tastes awful. How are you gonna survive like that? It's spicy too. Okay. Bro, it's not even cooked. What are you gonna eat then? We have a grill. We could grill. Yeah, we have a. I brought food. I brought other food. Uh, I'll fire up the grill. I'm gonna fire up the grill, dude. This was an L. L. All right, I'm gonna try it one I more time. I feel like you are. I'm gonna try it. Maybe I didn't get any chicken. Or maybe it was just all water. I don't know. You're just overthinking. Look. Look at how bomb this All right, now this should work. I stringed out some of the water. Here we go. All right, take two. That was even worse than the first time. So I got the grill set up. I'm gonna turn this switch and you just, dude, these bugs. I need yeah, you to light. <laughs> it's his Go ahead. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, it's on. We're gonna start off with burgers. My specialty, actually. So. You're so lost. No, I'm not. I do this shit all the time. There's three. Three. He said three. <laughs> Your patty's on the grill. Let it kind of cook thoroughly. And then you flip it and you work the other side. You just hit it from both ends. You know what I mean? From the front <laughs> and the back. Hey, is this part so overcooked and this part is raw? It's just the, t the, the way you cook it? I don't know it? what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't see it. Maybe we just get that part. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> they look pretty good though. Check it out. I should. Look pretty dense, decent. Better than McDonald's. Yeah. Taste test round two. By the way, let me know. Am I weird for not getting cheese on my burgers? Everyone, for as long as I can remember, always made fun of me because I only, I only get ketchup. Just ketchup and bun for me. That does it. You actually weird. Really? Yes. And it's not a little bit ketchup, it's kind of a lot. Yeah, well, dude, it's other... Is your cheese, huh? Yeah, this is my cheese. All right, taste test number two, something I'm a little bit more familiar with, dude. Here we go. Oh. This is good. How it looks inside? Look well cooked. Perfect. You heard that? Well cooked. Well cooked. I'm Faze Zap, welcome to my tent. Come on in here, check it out. Uh. So this is the setup we got going on right now. We got akimbo sleeping bags. We got Goo over here. Goo, how you feeling? Feeling great. What you reading? I'm just reading Michelle Obama. You like, you like Michelle Obama? Uh, she's my favorite. She's your favorite. My favorite. Interesting, so yeah. This is pretty much where we're gonna sleep tonight. You go, you go inside the sleeping bag. We got a little mat under here for extra comfort. Something I did forget though was a pillow. You just gotta sleep, that's it. Yeah, no, it's, it could, like, it, at least I got the, I got pretty much everything else. That's the one thing I forgot. We got the cooler over here, water, ketchup, some food for later, some snacks. We got s'mores going on. Oh my God. These were in the cooler. This is actually gush now, dude. <laughs> this is actually just gushy, dude. You're, you're actually a goober for this. Why me? You're supposed to put this in the cooler, bro. <laughs> you guys never told me anything. Turn it back into a solid. You know what I mean? Yes. Like solids, liquids, gases. The three, <laughs> the three fundamental properties of science. Which one is the, that one now? That's liquid now. Oh, okay. So we're gonna turn it back to a solid. Hopefully it works. But this is the setup for tonight, man. We're just gonna kind of like lay down like this, and just head on the earth. And it should be, it should be fun. It should be fun. Me and Guru are gonna sleep right in here. We got Macho set, set up next to us. Um, it's it's like we've been here now for like five hours. I think the sun should be setting soon. So we'll see, maybe we'll get the fire going. Um, 
try to cook s'mores. Hopefully this works. Bro, it looks like we're in Egypt right now. Look at this. We're in, we found sand dunes, like a little bit away from where we set. We set up camp like half a mile over there and we, we, we just kind of walked over here. It's very, very hot. I'm pretty winded, even just like walking through this is crazy. But this looks like Dubai. Like here, I'm gonna show you a clip from when I was out in Dubai, ATV, and this literally looks exactly like I need you, da -da 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 -da. and I miss you, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and I I would walk a thousand miles. <laughs> so we just hiked half a mile to get over here. But it's sick. It literally looks like we're in another country. What kind of animals would be out here, you think? Snake, for sure. We saw a lizard when we were setting up the tent, like a massive lizard, an albino lizard. You were freaking out. I was freaking out. Goo, it pulled up on Goo. I'm like, Goo, behind you. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, probably... All right, but how like a big animal? There's probably hyenas. Uh-huh. Maybe mountain lions. I don't know. Like, there's mountains, so... There's <laughs> mountains. Yeah. And lions. Yeah. I feel like there could be bears. 100%. <laughs> I do think there could be bears here. Yeah. Like big, like po like polar bears. Imagine we saw a polar bear out here right now. <laughs> a white polar bear? <laughs> Just charging us. At that point, I'm like, f**k it. I'm, I'm going out. That would be the most bad way to go out <laughs> killed by a polar bear in the desert dude like, <laughs> some serious problems with the fireplace but goo has actually whipped together a contraption here i see if we bought firewood and then goo's like i know how we could do this we get all the dry stuff put it around it put a paper towel in there and yeah let's just i, I mean i don't know ready we're out of options come on burn 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 Oh my god, Goo. I think you guys would thought me here. You could actually see the flame too. The thing is, he's sticking his hands in here too. Grabbing this. This is all thorns. These all have thorns on them. Like, I, I was like trying to help him. I was like, like, here you go. He's just going in there grabbing two handfuls. Bro, look. <laughs> Look at Goo, man. He's done it again. Oh, oh this is insane, bro. Because we, we can't, we look at, where's this little dinky can of butane? Like, we got this in the firewood and we're like, yes, we could start a fire. <laughs> like, dude, look at this. Like, what is it? Like, what are we gonna do? Sure. It's, it's dry, look. <laughs> He's dry. He's dry. All right, you ever made s'mores before? No, I never done it. Okay. I've seen movies. All right, well, listen, now it's my chance to educate you. Take this little skewer. Grab a marshmallow. It's actually just a delicious snack. Now stick it in the marshmallow. You sit here and you roast. You roast the marshmallow over the fire. It's gonna How get. Long? It's gonna get cooked. You'll see it start to like get crispy. Am I doing the right way? Because you're doing different. Yeah, no, like this. You just kind of rotate it. Don't put it in the fire. Just <laughs> like put it around the fire, and you'll see it start to heat up. You know what movie I seen this? What? Um, the one with the bear. That's, that narrows it down a lot, actually. The one with the bear? Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What one I don't with know the what bear? They mean. If someone in the comments can actually figure out what he's talking about, <laughs> I will give you $1,000. <laughs> Mine's pretty good. Mine's pretty good. How do you, you know? See, as you can see, it's kind of like starting to get crispy over here. Like, it's not very white. You see, it starts to harden. It's can, hot. Yeah, you can kind of touch it. Honestly, maybe a little bit more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Bl blow it out. Blow it out. Blow it out. Why? It's burning. <laughs> it's not how I'm supposed to do it. Look at his s'more, bro. Look at what he did to his marshmallow. You put it in the fire. What I say? I said not in the fire. You know, that was, your, doing that was your first attempt. I can't make a fire. You can't make a s'more. It's good. Does it taste? Amazing. I honestly haven't had one in so long. So it's pretty much a graham cracker with a Hershey bar on either side. You put the marshmallow in. It melts it. It's like a little, like, it's like a little cookie cream sandwich. Okay. It's I like insane. That. Heat up, heat up, heat up. You take this, and then you put this on top of it, and then you pull out the skewer. Oh, shit. And it like, look at that, you see what I mean? It looks amazing. Look at that, it's insane. We're trying it out. Oh my god. Oh. Um, this is amazing. Well, these, I forgot how good these tasted.
It's pretty good, his right? Face. <laughs> Bro, his face just lit up. Oh my god. Never had it before, right? Can we make another one? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe we pulled this off. Finally starting to feel comfortable out here. Six hours in, the heat's gone, the gnats are gone. We just had some s'mores, now we're just sitting, chilling by the fire, it's kind of nice. I'm actually feeling amazing. All right, you know what, you know, it kind of feels right. You know, when you go camping and you make s'mores, you gotta tell like, like a ghost story or a little, like some, some, some scary story that happened to you. And I, legit, I have, hand to God, on my mother's life, this is a real story. I don't think I've ever told it on my YouTube channel. Like a real ghost encounter I had. It was at the first phase house in LA, uh, right after I moved from Newport to LA. Um, me and Tommy lived there together. And I'm just gonna explain the story, what happened. I used to always hear stuff, like hear loud noises, like throughout the house, in my room, and I wouldn't think anything of it. Like, and sometimes I just would end up falling asleep in the theater because my room was on the fourth floor. The whole fourth floor was my room, and it was just like, way too big, way too much space, and it would like freak me out sometimes. So I would go down to the theater and just watch movies and fall asleep. And one day, me and Roman, you guys remember Roman, we went down and we were watching a movie in the movie room. We both passed out in there, and like the door to the movie room was cracked. So a little bit of light started to peek in because the sun was rising, it was the next day. And I, I saw someone like walk through the small crack, like, and it, it was like a silhouette because it was all dark except for that crack. I saw like, it, just, it was literally just a silhouette walk through the crack, and I was still laying down on my side, just with my with my eyes open, like thinking. I'm like, so I see someone walk in. I'm like, Roman, no response, and I'm like, Roman, like, hello, what are you doing? And this just like whatever this was just walked right in front of the projector, stood there, stood there, turned, looked at me, just an all black figure, and then I started to like kind of get worried because he wasn't answering after I called him like two or three times, and. I got up and as soon as I like brought my body straight up, it disappeared. Like and the what screen the, the screen behind it like glitched out. Like the whole he was in front of the projector screen and it like glitched out. Like it looked like a lightning bolt was across the, the screen. If anyone has any, ever heard anything like that, any similar experience, please tell me. I had to get the house saged. I literally got the house saged after that. I called Jeff Cleary. Shout out Jeff Cleary and he saged the whole house on some crazy like hand to God, I swear to God, I still to this day don't know what I saw. And the, and the worst part was I woke up and I looked to my right and Roman was passed out on the other side of the couch. And the next day we actually went on a Ouija board because Roman convinced me to don't ever do that. It's the worst thing you could do. You really don't want to do that. Just just brings all bad, bad negative energy. And I asked it what its name was. It spelled out Z-A-Z-A. -Z -A. And then I asked it what it wants. We asked it two questions and it spelled out A-L-E-X said my name on the Ouija board. Spelt out Alex. What the? And then that was the next day. And then from there, after that, that's when I called Jeff and I was like, we're getting a stage. It was crazy, crazy experience. Never, ever going on a Ouija board again. Never have touched it since then. I swear, and I hand to God, that is really what happened. It was when I saw it. it happened like January 2018. Maybe December 2017. Oh my God. Yeah, real, real. Oh, this Depends. Bro, I was freaking out. I had like chills down my whole body when I got up and I, I literally saw it walk into the theater, stand, turn, look at me, an all black silhouette. And then as soon as I stood up, it just disappeared. And it, like the projector behind it glitched. I swear to God, it was crazy. It was crazy. That That's my actual only real ghost experience where I actually saw something. Guys, it's been like probably like two hours since we started the fire. There hasn't been much going on, not a lot to film. It's also really dark. Me and Goo are sleeping uh my tent right now and Goo fell asleep. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to mess with him. You should give me the camera and I, I can go back in there. I turned like my iPhone light on and I have a little bit of light in there. And I can set the camera up to look like it's just chilling. And you should like be around the tent and start like shaking it and making noises, like to just doing whatever to mess with him. And I wanna see like how he would wake up and react if there was like an animal outside of our tent. Like what, like I wanna really see his survival instincts, you know? Be like, goo, I'm sorry, I had to scan up like, bro, what is that? Like, like, <laughs> like do something, bro, do something. So I think this is perfect. So I'm gonna go in there with the camera and you should just go around the tent right, and start making noises. Let's do it. Let's go. Come <laughs> on. 
Yes. For what? what? Bro. What if an animal come inside or whatever? Come inside, hear this. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone's gotta be with me. Listen, I'm gonna go. And then you come with me. I come with you. Yeah. I'm gonna front because I'm ready. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, come on. So it's me, Macho. It's Macho. It's Macho. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. what do you have tonight? <laughs> ah! <laughs> god, oh. oh my god! No. This is sharp! Of course! Oh what are we gonna do if someone pull up or I don't know? <laughs> yeah, dude, I, didn't, I had no idea you brought a knife with you, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're me, bro. Why, why you guys do that? Cause it's just like we, you, had, you were the first person to fall asleep. That's okay, normally like. But what, what did you? What would you have done if you saw saw an animal? Listen, if I saw, I would have fight back. That's how I was gonna do. I, I gotta sit. I gotta be safe. Save myself. I feel and, like the same. And we go back to bed. It is late. Okay, guys, we made it. We actually go. We did it. We got yeah. through the night. It was honest. Hard. It, dude. It asleep, bro. Look at. Listen. It. Bro, Hi, bro, I kept waking up. I woke up at 1.30, woke up at 3, like every two hours, and I kept trying to like, all right, maybe this will work better. No? <laughs> like, Change like, position. This, like this. Bro, it was so hard trying to sleep. I tried to use this. Bro, like I said, we had no pillows. I tried to use this as a pillow. And the crazy part is cold now. Yeah, it's cold now. That's it's freezing. It's, cold. it's freezing. But we actually made it through the night and all day yesterday. I'm pretty, I'm proud of us, bro. Yeah, I'm proud, I'm proud of us. How's your book? It. I'm almost done. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. We really came here. We did what we came here to do. I think we should pack up and yeah, I'm not. by the time we finish packing, um, let's get it. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I think we survived, right? Yeah. How'd you sleep, Bacho? Terrible. <laughs> we, uh, we survived. We made it a full day, like almost a full day yesterday at night, all the way to the next morning. Like I said, I'm pretty proud of myself. I couldn't have done it here without Goo. Massive shout out to my boy Goo. Yes, Survival sir. specialist. Really saved us on multiple occasions. It was fun. It was, the only thing that, that sucked was like, the worst parts were the heat, especially when we first got here. Yes. The gnats. Definitely. There's gnats going in your ears, all around your face, like hundreds of them. And then sleeping on like, the hard floor, like being used to like a mattress and then sleeping on the hard floor. I kept waking up all throughout the night. It was not the best night's sleep, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're actually, we're gonna leave the tents here because we found a fellow, someone else that's camping here that was down to grab him. Actually, yes. his son's a fan. He came up to me last night and he was like, are you Phase Apex? <laughs> I swear to God, he asked me if I was Phase Apex. It was nuts. But uh, <laughs> it kind of looked like Apex. Yeah, I, I could see how that that's a common misconception. Me and Apex really do, really do look alike. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like. We're about to drive four hours back to LA. Today. But like the video, let me know if you guys enjoy stuff like this. Leave in the comments too, where if there's any places you guys think uh, we should go next. I know Goo's down. I'm ready. I know ready. Goo's down. Get it. I know Macho's down. I miss making these like little travel videos. It's fun. Where I go put myself in like a really weird uncomfortable situation and try to try to survive and uh hey we did it we literally stayed here for a whole day and now we're gonna head back uh to la on to the next one if you guys enjoyed make sure to like the video subscribe because i do because i do i'll see you guys later